Let me ask this. How do you how do you determine if a function from R to R is convex? Yeah, you plot it and, and you look with your eyeball. Does it curve up or down? Or both, right? And if it curves up, then you say, well, it's convex. Okay? By the way, what you do then is you back off and you go to some other meth fancy method like you differentiate it twice and prove some inequality. Okay? And then you destroy evidence that you actually plotted it. But the correct thing to do is to plot it. Okay? So that, that's, that's how you do this. Okay? So, all right. What this says is in principle, you can detect if a function is convex, a function on Rn, by simply taking all lines. Now, of course, you cannot really do that. Um, but this does tell you, this gives you a perfectly good method for checking if a function is convex. And I will tell you what it is. Um, so here's what it is. First, you might try some analytical tools. You know, you might differentiate something twice, but after the formulas grow to the size of a page, you might quit or something like that. Then what you do is this. You write a simple little program to generate random lines, right? Then to effectively do the same as plot, just evaluate the function at 100 points along the line and check the inequality, just to check that it always curves up, right? By the way, if, it, if you ever find a point where it doesn't, you're done because you've, you produce two points where the inequality defining convexity is violated, in which case it, you are done and it's absolutely no one's business how you found those points. Everyone realize? So what you do now is you go to lunch. Is everyone, fo is everyone following this? Okay, you go to lunch and you come back after lunch. If, in fact, it is terminated and found two points, then you walk down the hall to your colleague who asked whether this function is convex, and you go, obviously not. And they say, why? And you go, well, look at this point here. And you, you, you give x and y and the convex combination, which violates the inequality. And you go, I, I don't really even know why you would think that was convex in the first place. <laughs> Everyone see what I'm saying? And then they'd say, well, how the hell did you come up with these things? And you'd say, I don't know, it seems kind of obvious to me. I don't know. So, okay, is this everyone following this? Okay, now, that's the defin the, the other outcome is that actually it hasn't been violated. Now, you don't know for sure it's convex, but you went off for lunch and you fired this up. It depends on maybe you used a cluster or maybe, maybe you fired up something on EC2 or so. I don't know, but a fair number of points may, be, may have been checked by now. Now, you don't know if it's convex or not, okay? So now I can actually tell you several ways to move forward. Uh, the first is you then try to prove it's convex. That, that would be, that's the simplest way. And if you do prove it, you destroy all evidence that you ever uh, tried to establish it empirically. Everybody understand this? Okay, so then, now the other thing is you can still get credit for it. Even if you can't prove it's convex, you go to the next conference and you say, well, I think the log of the detection probability, it seems to me like it's got to be concave. Stuff. And you just drop that around. You say it in obvious places and things like that. And then the next year, some smart young researcher will prove it. <laughs> and if you're really lucky, they'll have attached your name to it and call it the such and such conjecture. Everyone following this? <laughs> and then people would say, how did you know? It, the proof was like very complicated. You used all sorts of algebraic geometry and all sorts of other stuff. How could you possibly have known it was concave? And then you look straight at him and you say, intuition. <laughs> Everyone following this? Okay, so this is, these, are, these are advanced methods for establishing convexity. This is, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about these okay, as, as the course goes on. Okay, all right. So let's do one like that. By the way, if you do these things, just don't tell anyone where you learned them because so, I'll deny it. So, um, okay.